In 2021, a steam German car manufacturer Volkswagen became one of the 10 most valuable brands in the automotive sector worldwide. And on May of the same year, Volkswagen launched the T-Cross in the Philippines. This is their fresh and vibrant-looking entry to the growing subcompact crossover market in the country. Volkswagen brands this car as the perfect everyday vehicle that is versatile, compact, and practical. And on today's test drive, we will see what the 2020-22 Volkswagen T-Cross SE can do on the road. The 2022 Volkswagen T-Cross comes in two variants, the T-Cross S, which is the base variant, and the one that we have here. Ito po ang T-Cross SE with Active Information Display or AID. Ito pong featured natin na unit ngayon ay kulay Romance Red. Pero meron din pong ibang colors na pwede niyong pagpilian. Kagaya po ng Syringa Violet, Tribu, Polar White at Chinchilla Gray. However, the Syringa Violet, Tribu and Romance Red color options are only available sa kanila pong SE variant. Overall, this vehicle measures 4,218 millimeters long, 1,716 millimeters wide, 1,599 millimeters high, and it has a wheelbase of 2,651 millimeters. Para po mas madaling ma-imagine kung gaano kahaba itong T-Cross, mas mahaba po ito ng bahagya or 51 millimeters to be exact kung ikukumpara natin sa Geely Cool Ray. It comes with 17-inch alloy wheels and it has a ground clearance of 185 millimeters. It also has a trunk capacity of 329 liters that can be expanded up to 1,319 liters when the rear seats are folded down. Ang uh, T-Cross po is a good-looking subcompact crossover. It has an undeniable trendy appeal that will certainly catch the attention of younger car buyers. But of course, some older buyers might also like these sporty exterior features. The T-Cross has a large radiator grille with chrome molding and also features Volkswagen's new logo. It has LED headlights, daytime running lights, front and rear fog lamps with corner light function, side mirrors with turn signals and heating function, and a color matching roof rail. Ngayon naman, let's check out what's under the hood of the Volkswagen T-Cross. This front-wheel drive crossover has a 1.5-liter four-cylinder engine and is mated to a six-speed automatic transmission with Tiptronic. It produces 111 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque. It comes with the latest blue motion technology which improves fuel economy and at the same time reduces emissions. The 2022 Volkswagen T-Cross has electronic power steering. Meron din itong MacPherson strut suspension sa harap at torsion beam suspension sa likod. It also has disc brakes at the front and back. The moment you step foot inside the T-Cross, you will be greeted by its colorful interior. The dashboard and center console matches the exterior's color. So if you're looking to buy a car with a pop of vibrant colors sa loob, Yung hindi typical na black clad interior, then the T-Cross is a great option. Ito pong mga seats nitong T-Cross feature a mix of fabric and leather and has stitching that matches the interior panel. There's a six-way manual seat adjustment for the driver and a four-way manual seat adjustment for the front passenger. The front center armrest comes with a slide and the height adjustment. The T-Cross also has a panoramic sunroof that allows natural light in and makes the vehicle feel spacious and airy. As for the infotainment system of the T-Cross SE, 
Meron po itong 9.2 inch touchscreen that you can connect to Apple CarPlay. Mas maliit po ang screen size ng base variant na S na meron lang pong 8 inch screen. But both S and SE variants have four speakers in total. This vehicle also has a digital active information display that can be personalized depending on your driving needs. The T-Cross also has front and rear Type-C and USB ports so that passengers can easily charge their devices on the road. The Volkswagen T-Cross SE has a cruise control feature that gives a more comfortable driving experience. Now let's take a look at this Volkswagen's safety features. It has a tire pressure monitor, six airbags, an anti-lock brake system, ESP, Hill hold control, anti-slip regulation, rear parking distance control, and a rear camera. Meron din po itong Isofix child seat tethers. You can take home the 2022 Volkswagen T-Cross SE for only 1,250,000 pesos, while the base variant is priced at 1,098,000 pesos. Based on what we have seen so far, the T-Cross SE is a striking subcompact SUV. But will its performance on the road be as equally striking? Let's find out dito po sa ating Manibela Test Drive. test drive itong ating featured vehicle today which is the Volkswagen T-Cross at titingnan natin kung sulit ba din sa ating palagay itong price niya just like what i keep on saying no iba-iba po ang panlasa ng tao pagdating sa sasakyan and sometimes may mga taong hindi nila tinitingnan yung price tag ang ikino-consider nila ay kung ano yung gusto nila Dahil para sa iba, money is not a problem. Pero doon po sa mga talagang ginagamit ang sasakyan para sa purpose na kung ano yung kanilang mga negosyo, o ano yung kanilang daily needs, like uh, mag-transport ng kanilang pamilya, or gamitin sa paghahanap buhay. Of course, may iba-iba pong mga options na pinagpipilian. Meron kasi ako mga nadidinig ko minsan, ano, sabi nila, uh, sabi ko, why, why did you buy that car? Or, why did you buy that motorcycle? May ibang sagot na nadidinig po ako sa kanila. They are saying, uh, gusto ko yung forma. Uh, meron naman, pinipili lang nila kasi ang paniwala nila, mas mahal, mas maganda. Kaya, pinipili nila kung ano yung mas mahal. This one, ang ating pong Volkswagen T-Cross. Ito po ay nagkakahalaga ng 1,250,000. So, sa mga range na yan, papasok ang iba-iba ninyo mga comparison. Uh, but this time, kung riding comfort ang ating pag-uusapan, this one has a start-stop function. Meron pong pagka nag-full stop ka, namamatay yung makina niya. And pag once na nag-release ka na sa brake, and you're about to go, uh, biglang mabubuhay yung kanyang nabubuhay ulit yung kanyang engine. No? So, that's one function na kung minsan sinasabi nga ay para makatipid sa gasolina. And uh, pagdating naman sa control, maganda naman ang kanyang steering. Ano? Medyo yung parang nangingilo lang yung kamay ko dun sa steering wheel niya dahil parang synthetic yung kanyang wrap, pinaka-wrap. No? Ano? Minsan parang uh, hinahanap mo yung mas malambot yung feel. Parang hindi nakakangilos ang ipin pagka nirarab mo na yung steering wheel. But, yung comfort, maganda naman ang talbog niya. So far, dito sa klase ng road na dinadaanan natin, na may mga uneven road, and merong mga maliliit na mga wavy road, okay naman ang talbog niya. Maganda rin naman ang legroom, hindi naman masikip, uh, pati sa likod, medyo spacious naman. 
And meron din itong uh, cruise control. And I think I'm cruising at 55 kilometers per hour. Ayaw ka ma-speeding dito dahil uh, baka tayo ay matikitan. Uh, pero hanggang 80 naman ako pwede dito. Sa mga kuminsa ay nagbabiyahe ng malalayo at nasa mga super highway. Hindi siya adaptive na kagaya nung kung mayroong uh, masasense yung sensor niya sa harapan mo, mag-slow down siya at magpapreno siyang mag -isa. So, ito po ay cruise control lamang, like an ordinary cruise control na hindi mo kailangan mag-accelerate. Isaset mo lang kung anong certain speed siya na ang bahala mag-accelerate sa sarili niya. At ipinaprompt ka niya, no? Kung ilang kilometers per liter sa klase ng takbo mo ang nakakonsume niya. Kaya naman yung kanyang infotainment and meron ka din eh. maganda naman instrument panel maliwanag kahit na hindi masyadong malaki. Medyo nalilitan ako doon sa speedometer. So parang maganda siyang i-drive. Maganda naman yun. Ang seats naman nito medyo parang may init ang singaw dahil may init ang panahon hindi pa lumalamig masyado siguro yung aircon okay naman yung kanyang propagation kapag ka tinitignan mo yung uh, vision mo maganda naman ang magiging tingin mo uh, so so far magandang i-drive kahit na sa mga baguhan na magmamaneho at uh, stable naman siya sa road maganda ang kanyang road stability. Titignan din natin mamaya kung ano ang performance niya kapag uh, mga a little bit zigzag. So far, maganda pati yung tunog niya sa loob. No? Hindi mo masyadong dinig yung ingay na nanggagaling sa ano, vibration. Malambot yung dating ng sound sa sa'yo from outside going inside. Ang air conditioning niya sa ganitong klase ng weather na meron nakabukas pa yung ating sunroof. Fair enough. Okay naman yung lamig niya. Not that cold though. Pero baka setting pa rin natin yung ating pag-uusapan. Pagka ganitong klase na ng road, uh, iba na yung... Um, hindi naman siya matagtag. Pero yung bounce niya parang tawag sa amin doon eh, matahit. Iba naman yung matagtag na parang matigas ang dating, no? Lalo na siguro pagka nasa likod ka, maramdaman nga medyo meron ng alog. Tingnan natin ang magiging performance niya pagdating sa zigzag at saka pakyat. Hindi ganun ka, ano, ang response niya, ano, pagka diniinan mo yung Accelerator May delay Manual natin Yan ang magiging solution mo talaga dito eh Mamanual ka Para mas makuha mo yung response na gusto mo As compared sa naka fully automatic transmission Mas may delay dun sa pag-apak mo sa accelerator hindi lang kapareho din nung ina-expect mo na pag inapakan mo, talagang mararamdaman mo na hinahatak ka. Parang may bigat ng konti sa dibdib mo. Kadinihinan mo ng pakiat. Parang, yan, tagal din bago siya pumigap. Okay naman ang cornering. Mahayos naman. Stable naman. Although, Kulangan ako sa power niya Kaya mga akyate na Hindi masyado masunod yung Ine-expect mong hata Okay naman yung kanyang stability Sa Zigzag roads Power naman niya Although hindi ganun kalakas sa ahunan Pero hindi naman Yung mabibitin ka ng Todon 